Okay, so now that we've got the, the seed data set up and we've gone through and built this little relationship between these two tables, let's go in and, and remove the tables and rebuild with the, the new information. And so um, if I right click on the date may app and say open in terminal, we don't have to do this in terminal. In fact, we could just right click here on the migrations and we can say delete. But a lot of times we work at the terminal for this kind of stuff. And so I can go in and say .NET EF uh, migrations remove. And when I do that, it's gonna go delete this migrations folder here in a second. Um, or not. Um, do I need to delete the database first? I'm trying to remember here. D .NET EF database drop. All right, do I want to drop the database? Yes. Okay, so then I can try .NET EF migrations remove which I guess makes sense because it's still trying to track changes between the two. All right, so then the migrations disappear, our database is gone, and now we can go back in and say .NET EF migrations add initial, initial. And one of the things we should see when we do that is if we go into the migration and look at the, the snapshot, we should see now this, uh, well, a couple of things. One is that we should see this foreign key relationship that's being built up. And then the other thing that we should see is that um, it has the seed data in here, which it does. And so it's going in and, and building this information. And so now when we say .NET EF database update, now that we've run the migration, then it will take that data, the structure, and the, the seed data and load it up so that when we get into our dating application, then we'll now see that there are two tables. And um, I did notice it said major ID one. Major ID one. What did we do? Let's go look at this one more time. So in my dating application, I'm referring to major ID, and that's an instance of a major, and then over here, major ID. Um, foreign key. Let's see what the overloads are on this. Make sure I did this right. So we click on this. It makes me wonder if what I need to do is um, not put in the, the what, what the key is, but just leave the annotation to figure that out and say this major ID relates to that other thing. No, it's not liking that either. There's no argument given that corresponds to the required parameter name of foreign key attribute attributes. See, typically, I never even do this and many of the books that I use don't do that, but I was trying to make it more explicit of what we were doing. Um, so let's, I mean, that's right. So the, the string is going to be um, the name of the associated navigation property or, or the name of one or more associated foreign keys. And so it's the major ID that we're doing there, which is what we've done before. Let's see, let's try this one more time. .NET EF database drop. You're gonna get lots of good practice with this. And actually you will, we do this all the time for various reasons. Okay, uh, .NET EF migrations remove. And then let's take a little better look at the migration. So .NET EF migrations add initial And that'll go build our migration and I can take a look at it and see what it's doing. I noticed that major ID one, we're not gonna have a column named major ID one. Oh, I know what we did. 
Can you see it? So here it's saying it's a string, but here it's saying it's an int. And how can that int relate to that string? So I must have messed up. You probably caught it. So here I'm making major ID an int, but I bet you on the application, yep, it's a string. Okay, well, good. <laughs> Did not mean to take our time doing that, but it's good to catch these things and it's good to, to watch it go through. Okay, let's do this one more time now that we've got that fixed. So uh, this time we can just remove the migration. So .NET EF migrations remove. And then .NET, see, you know, you can be programming a long, long time. So I'm gonna do the add initial. You can be programming a long, long time and still make little dumb mistakes. It's just part of, there's so much to think about, there's so much to do, and our brains can only do so much. And so we make little mistakes, but, but the reason we get uh, paid what we get paid, the reason there's the demand is because of our brains to be able to get in and figure this stuff out once we've made a mistake. All right, so now we've got the, let's, let's run the migration. Well, let's run the, now that we've got the migration done, let's say EF database update. And I guess I should have looked at the migration. I was really trusting myself, but I'm pretty sure that's what the, the problem was. So now if we open this and look at it, okay, sure enough, we only have major ID now. Okay, well that, that all is fine and dandy, but now when we run our program, it's gonna break when we try to get to this page. Well, it's not gonna break yet because there's no uh, data associated with it. We gotta go put our data back in because we deleted it. So let's add those fields in real quick. So browse data, I can go in and just re-add that information that I had in there. Whoops, wrong button, this one. So we can go in. What are we doing here? Browse data. Insert a new record. Add a new record. Well, this is a little bit different interface than we just had just a minute ago. So uh, application ID, we can just say one. And we can change this to be an auto number. We will. So um, Michael Bluth, uh, age 40, I think is what we said, 000. zero, zero. 000, 000, 000, major ID. Now the major ID is gonna be different now. And so what major ID, what major is uh, Michael? Let's go find out. Uh, so we're getting into a lot of different stuff now, which is um, currently these are set to, to have to, to be required to have data passed in and we don't necessarily want that. I'm just gonna put in, I think it was a five actually for him, and then a zero, and then it'll allow us to save it. So it was saying we can't um, enter nulls in for those things. Um, let's go look and see the major. So the major ID, whoops, browse data, majors. So the major ID, uh, business administration was five, and then banana stands four, magic is three. So let's go in and back to our applications and um, add in a new record and we'll do two here um, so we did uh, Job Bluth age I think so we said 43 phone number 111 111 1111 major ID so that was a four I think was magic and then creeper stalker was yes okay save that and then we need one more So application ID three, George, Michael, Bluth. I'm really wondering why our interface suddenly changed. I think we said 16, 222, 222, 222. Major ID in that case was a three, banana stand, right? Or maybe it was the other way around. I'll have to look in a second. Creeper stalker, zero, nicest guy around. And now, so banana stand was four, magic was three. So let's go back to our data. And so banana stand was four. Oh, I gotta end this video. Spencer out.